to a lot of people, when you have cancer, it means you are going to die. And when the first time you have cancer, this is the feeling that we have. Then the doctor said, okay, don't worry. Uh, with today's technology, there's always treatment that can help you. You know, there are people who survive. There are people who, you know, uh, fought with cancer and survived and live on for another 20 years. So with the car assurance, I felt better. One of the worst moments in the in the, in living with cancer is certainly when you wait for the confirmation of the diagnosis, for instance. And this is when you're alone. There's very little help. How have you been doing emotionally? You know, with uh, this change of focus. Uh, that's so hard. It's from diagnosis, very often it will start by patients asking me, okay, well, how much do I have to live? Um, which, and then I'll look at them and ask, well, what do you know? What do you want to know? How much do you want to know? Because that's very important. I know that I was talking with John before you came, and we know that it's the last. Mm -hmm. Resort. Right. Uh, certain families uh, don't want to talk about it, they want to avoid it. Uh, certain patients uh, have called me and say, Dr. Morrison, please don't tell any member of my family that I'm ill. Well, it's kind of hard to get a conversation going uh, with that kind of blockage. There's no secret between me and my wife. What I feel, I let my wife know. Even at that time when I was very suicidal, I let her know. And all she could do is just to advise me. That's not the way to go. Okay, there's always, uh, there's always hope that you can, you know, get help. Uh, you have to be patient, you've got to hang on. If it can be opened up, and, and uh, where I had spent a good part of the last decade, we encouraged families to discuss uh, the illness. When you know something is going to happen, you start getting accustomed to, to the idea, even though it's very painful. And I guess you cry a lot at the beginning. You cry less as we go along. I'm not scared. She's not upset, she's not mad, she's not uh, sour about it or frustrated. She's accepted. I've accepted it. So if we can open the dialogue, uh, we can go from avoidance and denial and, and, some, and a great deal of anger to an embracing of the, of, of the disease. I must say that without my wife, I will not be able to pull through. I certainly will not be able to get through. With her support constantly, day and night, she's always beside me, especially when I've gone through a very critical period.